Hello? Hello, good morning. Who's this, please? Good morning, Scotty. Ah, good morning. Who is that? It's Mr. McClure, Mr. McClure. Mr. McClure, Mr. McClure. Right, Billy here, Scotty. Billy, how are you, lad? I'm fine, thanks. Ah, excellent. How did your lesson go yesterday? Ah, it's brilliant. You know, yeah. I, I, that old fool Joe on this morning, you know, he's a disgrace. Ah, see. Listen, David, I, I, was, to, I was listening to you for it and I'm listening. Karen was on, fairly. Yeah. Yes. Did she say something that got me thinking, Scotty, about the Queen retiring? Ah. When she mentioned the Queen retiring. Well, I've got a better idea than that. Go on. Right? We've got the succession to the throne, which is Prince Charles. Yes. Then we'll get William and Harold. Harry. Yes. Now, why don't we, instead of the Queen retiring, why don't we have Prince Charles, the King of Wales? Ah. And the other two, one the King of Ireland and one the King of Scotland. Ah. And the Queen stays where she is in England. Yes. But and and get the power back to the royalty. Get the power back to the royalty and... What, and what, 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 whoever it is, William or Harry, run Scotland. Right. Raise the taxes for Scotland. And then what we could do, we could base them in Hamilton. Correct. Or Airdrie or Coatbridge or Motherwell or Wishy. Correct. You build a, you build a palace for them. Or Bunko. Yes, anywhere, Scotty. Yes, yes, I think that. Uh, Coat Brig. So I don't want the Queen to retire. Coat Brig, we could maybe have a... Uh, I think that that would go down well uh, if you had the Royal Palace in Coat Brig. Yes. You see, now, this is interesting. This is very, very good. So the Queen... No, you don't want the Queen retiring. No, you don't want that. And nor would she want to do that, I don't think, because she's a lady who her whole life has been uh, service and duty to the nation. Correct. Well, Charles is the Prince of Wales. Now, somebody told me the other day, right, and I don't want people laughing at this, but I'm prepared to tell you, you know, yes. uh, you know, I won't, I won't say where, where this came from. But it's somebody that has seen, you know, when Paul from Air comes on, he says that there's going to be, uh, you know, um, the devil's going to be around for yes. a while, and then Jesus is coming back. Yes. Now, uh, this person, right, yeah, but this person had a vision that Prince Charles is actually Jesus coming back. Hmm. Now, it's very, I know it requires, you know, a bit of thought and a bit of a leap there, but, you know, that when Prince Charles ascends the throne, that will effectively be the Messiah returning to earth. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're, you're sitting there, you're going, oh, I'm not sure about that, but that was, it was what came in, somebody saw as a vision. Yeah. So I'm only, I'm only repeating what I've heard. Well, nobody knows how Jesus is going to come back. So it could be like that. He may come back speaking through Prince Charles. Yes, it could be. It, it, it makes things silly. Well, no, well, well, all sorts of things sound silly, but you see, I think that to, to assume that Jesus is going to come back to the Middle East, you know, I don't know why people just assume that, because the Middle East is such a warm torn place. Does it deserve Christ's presence? Correct, correct. Now, you know, Britain is, is, would be a good place for Christ to return to. Yes. You know, because there's a big Christian uh, uh, community in Britain. But I'd like to debate this idea. What do you think my idea is, Scott? Your idea? Yes. Of, well, the kings. Well, no, I think that's a wonderful... In other words, divvy the kingdom up. Yes, and, and let them have their own country. If it was William, yes. William so, so let me get this... the taxes in Scotland and, and spend it in Scotland. Right, so the Queen is... Is the Queen still the Queen of the Lot? Yes. Right, so she, she's overall the supreme governor. And obviously, if anything happened to the Queen, Charles would be the king of all. Right, so Charles becomes the king of Wales. Yes. Yes. And what, either one of his sons would become king of Scotland. Yes. Uh, We've well, right. already had kings of Scotland, why not? Oh, plenty of kings of Scotland. And I'm sure there were kings of Wales. Well, I wonder about Prince Charles even as king of Scotland and maybe asking Wales if they would... Yeah, well, my dear, was he the prince of Wales? Well, but he's also, yeah, but he's also the Duke of Rothsey. That's correct. And he's also Baron Renfrew. That's correct. And he's a shadow of Easters. I don't know, did you see the, did you see the Chancellor last I'll night? I'll tell you, I listened to him in Oscott and the guy was lost. The guy was talking men to him. You know, well, it was very strange. He says that there was a... Be over by the end of the year. He's talking rubbish. Well, he says it'll be over by the end of the year, right? He's talking rubbish. Right, and he reckons that there would be a 3.5% drop this year, <laughs> but a 1.25% growth. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Within 30 minutes, Billy, right? <laughs> The, yeah. the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, now bearing in mind these boys really know their stuff, yeah. 
had put forward the forecast that the UK economy would shrink by 4.1%. That sounds to me like it. And 0.4% next year. So in other words, that's 4.5% as opposed to the Chancellor's 3.5%. That sounds to me like it. And then no growth next year. So the Chancellor was reckoning on 3.5% shrinkage plus 1.2 per 5 percent Growth. So wait a minute. So just two seconds, Billy. That I means that means he's talking. Uh, just so I calculate it in my head, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. He's talking 2.25 percent shrinkage in total over two years, right? Whereas the International Monetary Fund is talking four and a half percent. So the Chancellor's two percent out with the IMF. Yeah. That doesn't look so good for arithmetic, does it? It's quite an Scotty's saying it's going to get worse before it gets better. That's right. And I think the 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 I think he's got it right. It's going, oh. to get, it's going to get worse. No pain, no gain. No, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets any better. Well, we're definitely we're in the old brown mucky stuff up to our necks here, mm. and I think we need to start swimming. But that idea, that that would get these politicians. We don't need to pay in their fifty thousand all this rises. Yeah, but also, see if we stuck, if we stuck, you could get rid of that, so that would make it a lot cheaper to run the, the government, because the yes. Supreme Governor would be Her Majesty the Queen. Yes. Good for you. And it, if, if it was pra Charles was the King of Scotland, he would raise the taxes in Scotland that would be spent here. Now, that was the situation up until 1688, as you Correct. very well know, when yes. the, the, the Bill of Rights came in. Mm-hmm. Now, do we still keep the Bill of Rights? Because that's there's an element of constitutional yes. monarchy. No, we keep that. Right, but you you get rid. Do, do you have a skeleton parliament? Do you have a, yeah, like a, a national a national things, government? We don't want to mess with history. Right, so you keep your parliament there. Yes. But their powers are very much reduced. In other words, they return to the Queen. So when the Queen goes, my government will, then she's saying that and Correct. not them. Not on their behalf. No, they haven't written the speech she's for She's saying it on behalf of the country, yes. not on behalf of them. Yes, so she, the Queen is representative of the people. Yes. Yes, the government are appearing to she be She will still be the Queen of, the of everybody. She'll, although, although I'm saying Charles would be the King of Scotland, she would still be the Queen they all. Yes, she, she's got that, the, 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 she's got the casting vote. Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. No, no, I think that's a great idea, Billy. You're a, you're a great thinker, you know. Oh, people are going into ice. Yeah, no, 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 you right. remind me, you remind me of the great thinkers like, uh, Rousseau and all that lot were, uh, that were around in 1789 when they... See that running down Paul or that? I don't agree with that here, Scott. That guy's got his own point of view. Yes, he has, and he's a very Don't call him trying to him. He's saying it's rubbish. He's a highly intelligent man. I think sometimes, though, sometimes, maybe I, maybe I'm guilty of letting people run on a wee bit too long. No, you let people say what you think, Scott. Well, I think they should. That's the point in the programme. Yes, exactly. I mean, they can hear me any time. It's you we're needing to hear. Yeah, I, I quite like listening to Paul, actually. I'm just, well, I like listening to Paul. I think the man's fantastic. But I'm just wondering if the likes of your Joe... And there's another idiot on today talking about... What's his name? What was the guy that used to come on that we banned? Tommy. Tommy, yes, mm. couldn't mind his name there, because <laughs> he's, he's, uh, he's geography now, you know. His, his name's Paul now, right enough, he's calling himself Paul now. Oh, is that what he's calling himself? Ah, he's going out station and he's calling himself Paul and he's giving them half on you know what I mean? What, is he going on other radio stations? Yes. Dear, oh Aye. dear, oh dear. Aye. Where is that man going to get a life? But he's through up there as well, Scotty. You know, I, I, I want this, well, you see, I think I, I was very, very tolerant, to be honest. <laughs> I was surprised, actually. You know, I think you I was more, well, I was more, I was more than tolerant, because I wanted to see if there was any sort of real meat to his discussion, but, but there never ever was. Why could, why could anybody need to come on here and argue you and call your name? That's, that's. Be abusive. But don't you, we're not, I know Joe said brown nose and all that, that's rubbish. No, nah, it's rubbish, no, no, no. I don't know what you said I would say, well, I don't agree with that. Well, and as you know, we don't have any colour nose. You see, I think Joe's a red nose. Oh, I, we know, Joe's a bigot, we know that. He's a, he's a bigot and a sectarian, and I think that's a disgrace. And that's one of the reasons they didn't like me, because I stick up the royal family. He and doesn't he, he like, like you him. because you tell the truth, Billy. Yeah, that's why correct. he doesn't like you. Anyway, thanks for letting me on again, Scotty. No bother at all. Great pleasure, and dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Dinky-doo, top of the dial chair.
There we are, top of the dial, of course, if you're telling anybody about this wonderful, wonderful radio station, make sure they've got the frequencies, 107.5 in the FM, 107.9 in the FM, loud and proud across the beautiful, massive and diverse county of Lanarkshire, stretching from the Scottish borders to the city of Glasgow. We are stout at the door with your calls on the Country Stop phone-in program on the Country Stop radio station on Lanarkshire's L107, and uh, keep your calls coming because I will get you on Remember the winner never quits and the quitter never wins? So ring and ring and ring and redial and redial and redial. 01698 337 107. I'll speak to you after this.